fill in the blank with the correct form of the verb in this conditional sentence. If I blank 12 tacos, I will feel bad. In this situation, I see will feel, that tells me future. I need a future conditional sentence. The pattern for future conditional sentences is if plus the present tense, comma, will plus the verb or future in the main clause of the sentence. So in this sentence, it is if I eat 12 tacos, I will feel bad. Fill in the blank with the correct form, verb form for this conditional sentence. If I blank 12 tacos, I would feel bad. In the second part of sentence, I see would feel, and that tells me I'm dealing with an unreal situation either in the present or the future. For those kinds of sentences, the pattern is if plus past tense, comma, would plus the verb, or would plus feel. So in the, in the blank, it's if I ate, past simple, if I ate 12 tacos, I would feel bad. In that situation, you're saying that you didn't do that, or it's an unreal situation. Fill in the blank with the correct verb form for this conditional sentence. If I blank 12 tacos, I would have felt bad. I look at the second part of the sentence and I see would have felt. That tells me this is a past conditional sentence, unreal past situation. For those kinds of sentences, the pattern is if plus past perfect or if plus had in the V3, past participle, and then would have verb. So I see would have felt. So in the first part of the sentence, it would be if I had eaten, past perfect. Fill in the blank with the correct verb form for this conditional sentence. If I finish the homework, I blank to the party. In that situation, I look at the first part and I see if I finish, and that's present simple. But I'm really talking about future. So if I want to talk about a possible situation in the future, the pattern we use is if plus present tense, and then the other part of the sentence would be future, like will go. So if I finish the homework, I will go to the party. Fill in the blank with the correct verb form for this conditional sentence. If I finished the homework, I blank to the party. In this situation, we see the past simple in the first part of the sentence, if I finished. That tells me that this is an unreal condition, not a real situation. The pattern for those kinds of conditional sentences is the if plus past simple plus would plus the verb. So if I finished the homework, I would go to the party. That's the correct form for that sentence. Fill in the blank with the correct verb form for this conditional sentence. If I had finished the homework, I blank to the party. In the first part of the sentence, I see had finished. That tells me this is a past conditional sentence and it's an unreal situation. This didn't happen. We know that from the pattern for past conditionals is if plus past perfect, had plus V3, and then would have plus V3. So in this situation, if I, if I had finished the homework, I would have gone to the party. That's the form for past unreal conditionals. Fill in the blanks in this conditional sentence. You were sick last week. If I, you were sick, I would, you. We're going to use the verbs know and visit. In the first blank, I see um, you were sick last week. This tells me it's a past conditional sentence. And in a past conditional sentence, the form is if plus past perfect, had plus the past participle, and the second part of the sentence is would have plus the V3, the past participle. Back to the first blank. If I had known, 
that's the past perfect. And the second blank, I would have visited you. So you were sick last week. If I had known you were sick, I would have visited you. So that's the pattern you would use for a uh, situation in the past that is an unreal past situation. If plus past perfect plus would have V3. Fill in the blanks in this conditional sentence. You might be sick tomorrow if you blank, I blank you. We're going to use the verbs be and visit. In the first blank, or at the beginning of the sentence, I can see that this needs to be future because it says tomorrow. And it's possible because we say might be sick. So for future possible situations, we use if plus present and then will plus the verb or future in the second part. So if I, if you are sick tomorrow, that's the present, I will visit you. That's the future. That's the form for future conditions. Fill in the blank with the correct verb forms for this conditional sentence. You feel good now, so I won't visit you now. If you blank sick, I, you, we're going to use the verbs be and visit. I can, in that situation, I can see we're talking about now, but we're talking about an unreal situation now. This situation where we have an unreal condition for the present, we use if plus the past simple, and then we use would plus the verb. So the correct answer here is if you were sick, um, I would visit you. So if plus the verb be in the past, were, and then would visit in the main clause. That's for an unreal present situation, if plus past, would verb. Fill in the blank with the correct form of the verbs for this conditional sentence. I don't have time. If I blank time, I blank an essay. In this situation, we say, I don't have time. That's present, but in terms of writing an essay, we're talking about an unreal situation. I don't have time. Unreal situations about the present. The conditional form is if plus past simple and then would plus the verb. So if I had time, I would write an essay. Um, so that's the pattern for an unreal situation about the present. If plus past simple, would plus the verb. Fill in the blank for this conditional sentence. Maybe I will have time tonight. If I blank time, I blank an essay. In this situation, we see tonight. Maybe I'll have time tonight. That tells me this is a future possible situation. The pattern for those kinds of conditional sentences is if plus the present tense, and then the future in the main part of the sentence. So probably will plus the verb. So, in this one, it's if I have time, I will write an essay. So, for a future condition that where the thing is possible, we'd use if plus present, like if I have time, plus will plus the verb for the second part. I will write an essay. Fill in the blank with the correct form for this conditional sentence. Last year, I didn't have time. If I blank time, I blank an essay. In this situation, we can say last year. So we're talking about a past conditional. And it's also a past conditional that is not true because I didn't have time. So the form for past conditionals is if plus past perfect, or if plus had V3, or past participle, and then the main part of the sentence is would have V3. So the answer to this sentence is, if I had had time, I would have written an essay. If I had had time, I would have written an essay. I could also say, if I'd had, if I'd had time, 
I would have written an essay. Fill in the blank with the correct verb form for this conditional sentence. I blank late if I blank to work tonight. In this situation we see tonight, we're talking about future. So for a future sentence about a condition, for the if part, it's going to be present. And then for the main clause, it'll be future. So I will be late if I drive to work tonight. So the if part of the sentence has the present tense, and then the other part, the main part of the sentence, gets the future tense. Could be will or could be going to. Fill in the blank with the correct form of the verbs in this conditional sentence. I blank late if I blank to work, but I always take the bus and it's never late. So in this situation, this idea of being late and driving, it's an unreal condition. Conditional form for unreal present conditions, which is if plus the past simple and then would plus the verb. So I have the would part at the beginning. We have the main clause is going to use the would, I would be late, and then if I drove to work. So once again, the pattern for a unreal, um, an unreal conditional sentence that's talking about the present is if plus the past simple, and then would plus the verb, or V1. Fill in the blanks with the correct Form of the verbs for the this conditional sentence. I blank late if I blank to work yesterday because the traffic was bad. In this situation, we're talking about yesterday. So that's a past conditional. The form for past conditionals is if plus past perfect, had plus the V3. And then in the main part of the sentence, it's would have plus V3, or the past participle. So in the, the answer is, I would have been late if I had driven to work. So once again, past conditionals will use would have plus V3 in the main part of the sentence. And in the if part, we use if plus past perfect.